Oh, trouble. Oh, trouble. Jimmy Johnson, I believe. Around, headed for the inside wall. Greg Biffle around also. Dropping oil, guys. A lot of it. Should I shut it off? Yeah, if you're losing a lot of oil, just shut it off. Jimmy Johnson, after qualifying way back in 32nd place, had made up some ground in that second run of the race. And on the restart, I saw him out there three wide off turn number two the first time around, really making uh, what looked like some speed. But then it got all bottled up on him this uh, second time around off that corner, and there's the result. If Biffle was chasing his car up the racetrack, he definitely hit the left rear corner in the 48. And that sent Jimmy into the 51 of Justin Allgaier. Yeah, that right uh, there was. Come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Misjudged by Greg Biffle. He thought that he was just going to be able to slide in behind the 48. We've seen this a few times this year, if you can remember. One from all the way on the bottom, inside two. And for Jimmy Johnson, literally a big blow in his championship hopes today here in Kansas. With Jimmy Johnson, who walked out, big hit to you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, obviously, a big hit in uh, championship points. So we'll try to get the car back on the track, run some laps, uh, get a few points if we can, and then uh, just put some premium on next weekend and the weekend after. Yeah, describe a little further what this does now going forward in the contender round, Jimmy. Well, it just means we've uh, we've got to be on our game at Charlotte and in Talladega, and um, you know there's still a lot of racing left. Other stuff can happen, so we'll we'll kind of see how the other chasers fare. Um, you know. If, I can get taken out today, somebody else can uh, later in this event or at Charlotte. So uh, we'll do our best to get on track and then uh, certainly uh, need W's, I would assume, moving forward.